All right, you might be wondering why your energy levels are down and why you lack motivation. Well, you might not be shutting down, you might not have the proper boundaries, you're probably too stimulated, and your hobbies are becoming your new habits. Now I'm gonna give you an explanation of each one of those areas and how we can create improvements in your life. Now Mondays are generally crazy in the gym business world, especially the beginning of the month. Some people get their bills that day, they had a busy, very stressful weekend, some people even had food and booze hangovers. So naturally, they feel the gym is a stress that they don't need right now, and they're just trying to get through their day and function with just the day-to-day -day steps that they need to do. And so I often check my schedule for this upcoming day because I know what's coming. There's gonna be some cancellation, there's gonna be some people that are lost or lack motivation, and just from having conversations from dusk till dawn, it leaves me extremely wiped for Tuesday. And I'm sure that a lot of people can relate to this, especially the ones that either are in like higher positions at their work or they're like realtors or they're self-employed. And so every Monday burns me out for my Tuesday and I fall into this trap. And so that's what made me wanna create this video to share some education and maybe I can help you not feel so bogged down on your Tuesday. So the first thing that I realized is that most of us, we don't shut down. We go from sleeping as long as we can and we start hammering out our day-to-day -day tasks and some of us even get onto social media. The very first thing that we do and when it comes to social media, it creates triggers, right? So our brain never shuts down. We turn on social media first thing in the morning and we go through our messengers. Like, so for me, I'll go through my, you know, 40 messages first thing in the morning and not every message is gonna be perfect. And so when I see a message that isn't perfect, what does it do? It triggers me. Now for you, you might go onto Instagram and somebody posted about something and you're just like, why is this person always bragging? Immediately, it stimulates the brain, not in the direction that you want it to. Some of us lay in bed. Most of us don't even watch TV anymore. And so what are we doing? We're sitting there, we're scrolling, and we're scrolling, and we're scrolling. And every photo or every post that we look at creates a different emotion that triggers us and it stops us from shutting down. So the first thing that we need to do is not make social media the first thing that we do in the morning and especially not the last thing we do before we go to bed because then our brain will never shut down. The second thing is boundaries. Now, if you're like me, you make yourself available. And what happens when we make ourselves available, become too available, and a lot of people just don't know boundaries. You have to set them with them. I remember having conversations with some of my team members where I'm like, you can't message me a work thing right before I go to bed because you know, I open up a lot of the messages, you know, some of the conversations are good, some of the things are bad, some of the things just trigger me to like spark the brain and then I can't shut it off. And so they'll message you from five in the morning to 11 at night. I even know people that message after midnight and we have a tendency to have our phones in our hands and then we see the message and even though if we don't read it, we see what they wrote and it piques our curiosity, which only gets us to start a conversation that we should have gotten into tomorrow. And so when it comes to boundaries and when it comes to like work things or even messages, we need to make sure that we're open with the people that are messaging us and we need to let them know like, hey, like if you're gonna be sending me these types of things at this time at night, there's a good chance that I'm not gonna answer you till tomorrow, much less even read like what you wrote. So the second thing that I recommend to help you have a better day, get your mood back and your energy levels higher is to make sure that you're setting boundaries with the people that are consistently messaging you. And the third thing is that we're probably way too stimulated from caffeine. And yes, I understand that water sucks on its own, but for most people, a cup of coffee doesn't do anything for them anyways. Because what ends up happening in our brain is for every cup of coffee, we're blocking out these sleep receptors. Now what ends up happening is you block one and you produce three. And so the more sleep receptors you have, the more chances of you getting sleepy and the more coffee that we drink in, the more these receptors produce and the more likely you're gonna feel tired throughout your entire day. So the challenge that I wanna issue to you is try a detox. Now, instead of having three cups of coffee on a Monday, four on a Tuesday, five on a Wednesday, why don't you just go two on a Monday, two on a Tuesday, 
two on a Wednesday, and then do that up until a day where you actually aren't working, where you don't have any cups of coffee, and maybe you switch over to green tea. And by switching over to a less caffeinated substance, then your brain will give a chance to rebound so that there isn't so many sleep receptors and it's not gonna kill your mood, your energy, or your motivation. So try once a week to do a detox of no caffeine and then try to limit yourself on another day where you just focus on green tea. And the last but not least is your hobbies are becoming your habits. So most of us do so well during the middle of the week and by the end of the week, we feel great and we forget about how we felt on Monday and Tuesday. So we repeat the thing that we shouldn't do and know that we shouldn't do because we feel good by the end of the week and the end of the week, we get into bad eating habits, bad sleeping habits, and for some of us, even drinking or other recreational bad habits that are creating us to have a bad Monday and Tuesday. And so what I want you to do is to make a commitment to being the best version of yourself and replace and substitute a bad habit with a good one. So instead of going out to the bar for appetizers or drinks on a Friday night, why don't you invite your friends to Fit Club for Friends Friday and bring them in there where you guys will be able to, you know, listen to great music, get a workout, spend time together, sweat it out, and then maybe after you go for a light dinner and then you call it a night. So instead of going to bed at one or two or three in the morning and drinking late, you're going to bed early and you've accomplished something and you still spent time with your friends. So there we have it guys. If you don't want your Mondays to suck, you wanna regain your energy and your motivation, then the first thing you need to do is have a shutdown time, okay? Make sure that you're not making social media the first thing that you look at and the last thing you look at before you go to bed. Create boundaries with those that require it. It's okay to tell them that they can wait because these are the people that as soon as you answer them, they're gonna ask you another question or they're gonna demand something else of you. So at the very least, you need to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of them and give them what it is that they're asking of you. We need to not be so stimulated with caffeine. Caffeine is only making us more sleepy, guys. I know you can't live without your coffee, but try and just reduce it. Even if you reduce it by a half a sip, you know, for a week, try it. Challenge yourself to detox yourself from coffee. And then the last but not least is don't let your bad habits become your daily or weekly habits. Start to replace or substitute some of your bad habits that you know you should be breaking with new habits. So guys, if you're looking to really step it up and you want 28 days of focused attention from a coach, we have our belly burn challenge. So go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, hit the get started button, send us a message, mention belly burn, and we're gonna make 28 days of your best life. We'll see you there.